Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan visited a vaccine clinic today at the Wellstone Center, a nonprofit that offers services to St. Paul, and is why Artisa Wheatley got vaccinated. Yeah, for one, it was here and it was free. Language, fear, and location can be vaccine barriers the clinic is trying to break. The state also offering prizes, a gift card, followed by state fair tickets, the most popular. But still, vaccination rates are dwindling. The first 60% of Minnesotans was really easy. Uh, we had a saturation point, and the next 40% could be a little harder. And so we have to do things a little differently. Nearly 3 million Minnesotans have gotten at least one dose, but a Mayo Clinic doctor says that's not enough to protect you against the Delta variant that led to the COVID crisis in India and now makes up 6% of cases in the U.S. It is clearly more transmissible. There are studies show that it, it, it is somewhat uh, evasive to vaccines. For example, the doctor says one dose of the Pfizer vaccine is only 33% effective against the variant, but jumps to 90% with two doses. He's calling on the FDA to consider authorizing a second dose for the 10 million people who got the J&J &J vaccine. So I don't think there's any reason to believe if you give Pfizer or Moderna to people who've had J&J that there would be any serious risks or anything. He says the best defense is the vaccine that will now protect Wheatley and her family. I was a bit nervous, but I'm glad I got it done and out the way. I feel better. Jennifer Hoff, CARE 11 News. Well, the lieutenant governor says there are more than 130 similar pop-up clinics around the metro, along with eight state-run sites that are still open to get a vaccine.